A reading from the book of Sirach. Come to our aid, O God of the universe. Look upon us. Show us the light of your mercies and put all the nations in dread of you. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you, O Lord. Give new signs and work new wonders. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Give evidence of your deeds of old. Fulfill the prophecies spoken in your name. Reward those who have hoped in you, and let your prophets be proved true. Hear the prayer of your servants, for you are ever gracious to your people, and lead us in the way of justice. Thus it will be known to the very ends of the earth that you are the eternal God. Responsorial Psalm Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Remember not against the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us for we are brought a very low. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. And they were on the way, going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was going before them, and they were full of wonder, but those who came after him were in fear, and again he took the twelve, and gave them word of the things which were to come on him, saying, See, we go up to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man will be given up to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will give an order for his death, and will give him up to the Gentiles, and they will make sport of him, and put shame on him, and give him cruel blows, and will put him to death, and after three days he will come back from the dead. And there came to him James and John, the sons of Zebedee, saying to him, Master, will you give us whatever may be our request? And he said to them, What would you have me do for you? And they said to him, let us be seated, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You have no knowledge of what you are saying. Are you able to take of my cup? Or to undergo the baptism which I am to undergo? And they said to him, We are able. And Jesus said to them, You will take of the cup from which I take, and the baptism which I am about to undergo you will undergo. But to be seated at my right hand or at my left is not for me to give, but it is for those for whom it has been made ready. And hearing this, the ten became very angry with James and John. And Jesus made them come to him, and said to them, You see that those who are made rulers over the Gentiles are lords over them, and their great ones have authority over them. But it is not so among you, but whoever has a desire to become great among you, let him be your servant, and whoever has a desire to be first among you, let him be servant of all.
It is quite strange to think that when somebody is telling us of the bad thing that will soon happen to him, instead of showing compassion to him or her, or at least stay close to him or her in her or his dark moments, we ask them what good things they can offer to us that would make us happy. In this case, what matters to us are our own desires, and we close our ears to what they are telling us which need our attention and sympathy. This is exactly what the Gospel of today is telling us. Jesus was telling his disciples what will happen to him soon and what, what kind of death he will undergo. He will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him, spit upon him, scourge him, and put him to death. Yet the sons of Zebedee were after of fame and power, and they asked Jesus to grant their wish. Their selfishness blinded them of the suffering that Jesus would undergo. When we are self-centered, it will be hard for us to see the world around us. It would be difficult to see other people who are more in need than ourselves. This is so because we are very much enchanted by ourselves, by what can make us more important and what can make us happy. In other words, our only world is ourselves. This is a sad reality. However, Jesus told his disciples, Whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. This is other-centered, opposite to self-centeredness. Can we give up our ambitions for the sake of others? To be great in God's kingdom is not found in our status in the society, but in being dependent to Him who gave His life for the ransom of many. Prayer from Xavier.edu Disturb us, O Lord, when we are too well pleased with ourselves, when our dreams have come true because we have dreamed too little, when we arrive safely because we sail too close to the shore. Disturb us, Lord, when, with the abundance of things we possess, we have lost our thirst for the waters of life. Having fallen in love with life, we have ceased to dream of eternity, and in our efforts to build a new earth, we have allowed our vision of the new heaven to dim. Disturb us, Lord, to dare more boldly, to venture on wider seas, where storms will show your mastery, where losing sight of land we shall find the stars. We ask you to push back the horizons of our hopes and to push into the future in strength, courage, hope, and love. Amen.